today we are going to be making pumpkin Baymaxes. Are we so excited? Yay! All right, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit about what we have for our, you know, tools and utensils and whatever else. So first off, um, I bought these pumpkins at a big old pumpkin patch for a dollar fifty each. The little ones right here, and these were about five dollars each. So from what we're going to be doing today, we're going to need the six small pumpkins and then the two big pumpkins. Um, but if you're only going to do one Baymax, then you only need four. <laughs> okay, um, here are a little bit about what we need. I bought some small um, brushes for the delicacies and the things that we need to do. This is probably the most expensive thing that I purchased, and it's just a big marker. Um, probably should have thought twice about that one, but we'll see if it works out. And then also, these are going to be one of the most important things to be able to do. These sponge brushes, um, they're going to help be able to move the paint around, obviously. <laughs> so I bought these three colors. This first color is for the white, for the normal Bay Max. And then these two colors over here are for the Baymax in his suit. Now you will be using all three for Baymax in his suit, but for just the one where Baymax is by himself, it's just gonna be the white and the marker. I'm really not much of a coffee drinker, but this, the caramel apple spice, you know, it's pretty much to die for. In total at Hobby Lobby, I spent $22.11 for this stuff. Um, like I said, this is just because I'm doing two pumpkins, um, and also I overspent with the marker. But hey, you know, like I said, we'll go with it. Um, can I just say Hobby Lobby is probably the most dangerous spot for me. This place and Home Depot, every time I walk in there, I swear it's worse than Pinterest. Every time I walk in there, I want to leave, like, spending a million dollars, and I probably could. But anyway, it was only 22 this time, so I got out. It was a steal. I feel very awkward down here just because it's like way down on the ground, but it's the best I can do. Yay. Um, but first off, what we needed to do, we needed to figure out which ones were going to be the arms and which ones were going to be the legs and which ones were going to be the heads. We figured out that these bigger ones would probably be better for the heads and then these smaller ones would be better. We kind of just spaced them out and figured out which one would be better. So this one is going to be the arms for this Baymax. And basically the reason why I chose this one, he's got, it kind of goes oblong over here, like it's thicker on this side than it is on this side. So these are gonna be like the shoulders. And so what we're gonna start out by doing is cutting them in half. And then we're going to figure, we're gonna be able to hook them onto these after that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna cut it in half and then clean it out and then these will be the legs. And it'll be fun. Let's do it. Special thank you to my friend Adrian for being my lovely assistant. Alright, now we got the arms. Okay, like I said, we're basically done with these and we're gonna set them right here and those would be the legs. See, you can see Baymax's legs. And right here is gonna be the arms. What we're gonna be doing is I went in and I took like an X-Acto knife and I cut in right here. So what we're gonna do is gonna create a wedge to be it, and then also create a wedge gap in here to be able to stick it in so it stays in. Okay, so right here is where we find a good spot that would be able to fit this in there. And then we're just going to dig in, we'll take the head off so it doesn't fall on me. Okay, so we've created a bit of a smile there. 
And we just kind of work at it until we get it to fit. Okay, so we're finally able to fix them. Aren't they so cute? Okay, right now you can just kind of see they're kind of making shape and we're just gonna start with the painting. We're gonna start out with the white. Why? Because it's full of it. And we're just gonna do this. It's probably best if you end up doing like two coats of the white everywhere because otherwise it's gonna be like an orangey white. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's pure white because that's what Baymax is. But we'll start out with just the one, let it dry a little bit, and then we'll go for round two. Okay, so we're done with the first coat. We'll come back to that later. Over here, we're going to start off by using, this is basically the closest thing I came to red. Um, so most, of, most of Baymax's armor is red with a little bit of like a purplish um, accents, um, but we're going to go with a little bit of the bluish. Um, that's basically, I'm working with what I got. <laughs> so let's get started. do we're gonna be adding the blue as well and also going we still have to do the head the head is the probably the most difficult one because it's got the mask so we saved that one for last all right let's see it okay let's see if this super expensive pen was worth it here we go he's so cute <laughs> all right next we're gonna get on this one should have done a little bit better. Um, we were just going by the seat of our pants with this one, so you know, bear with us. Um, one thing is probably instead of doing the carving um, and like putting the link inside, we thought maybe possibly doing like chopsticks. Yeah, chopsticks, like sticking them in and maybe hanging on them. That might have worked out better. Also, um, get paint that actually is red instead of more purple. But hey, it still looks cute. I think I still like it. Um, this one I just think is adorable, so no changes here. Um, anything else? Basically, you know, the pen, the pen worked out for us, you know, because I think a, a Sharpie wouldn't have Could've stayed on. Yeah, it wouldn't have stayed on. So the pen, whatever, it's worth it. Um, all right, well, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, just let us know in the comments below. Also, let us know what type of pumpkins you guys did this Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Subscribe.